Hey, hey, hi, I am Igraglas, and today we continue our adventures in Windows subsystem for Linux. So basically we are right now in the Windows, but we are using Ubuntu here from VSL. In my past video I showed you uh, how install VSL, how to fix some problems with it. So now we could work and uh, I installed all, um, I updated it. In my past video I showed you how to update stuff and we have a lot of packages but the thing is that yeah by the way control l to clean terminal the thing is that there is no basic stuff like gss gcc um comp no, there is no compiler so to be able to code to write programs in c language and to compile them we need it the good thing about linux is that any uh, command any package which you need if you just enter it it will suggest to you command how to get it for example if you want to get gcc it it, it give you a prompt like mm, you could try this command so if we will try it uh, it will install the compiler and okay so gcc installed and uh, i just made the list uh, what else we want to have today we also want to have uh, of course make utility so we will be able to um, assemble our programs programs so let's also install it then we want to have gdb uh, debugger to be able to debug our programs okay uh, gdb installed and we could always check is it installed or not we have command dpkg which means debian packager so Debian packager and uh, with the command dash a dash L you could see all packages which install so you could uh, look around with page up page down and also could uh, use arrows right and left to to see what you have at your system and to exit you press Q and to clean terminal control L so uh, we have GDB and to check it we use uh, uh, dpkg s and like status and gdb and you could see all information about this package which we just installed that okay it's installed it's it's good actually it's all these three packages you need uh, to be able to compile and debug your code but also uh, it's good to have as sm assembly and uh, use loader but you do not need to install it so assembly it's already here so you could uh, if you press man as manual you could uh, read about portable GNU assembler and also there are ld it's a loader which you um, yeah, loader which is linker basically which you could use for disassembling uh, processes to write in assembly i'll make some videos about it later the last thing which we need it's uh, actually our text editor where to have our code there are some uh, options for example Wim uh, but Wim it's very special thing you should go for it you should learn it or you should kind of uh, drop it because uh, it's kind of very special so you could try it also there is a uh, nano it's more more newbie friendly so it's easier to go into it but still it's uh, special because for example uh, you do not have control c control v here all commands they are custom here in nano and in Vim especially so uh, with control x you exit uh, my choice personally it's a micro uh, this editor what's nice about it it has the same hot case like control c control uh, v Control D to duplicate line like all if you're a Windows guy you or gal you have the same hotkeys which is important of course you could put the same hotkeys to Nana but here it's really nice what you could do here for example just an example if you press Control E you could uh, split screen uh, and then in your split screen you could uh, like again press Control E and write term and you will have here terminal so you could uh, code 
stuff and then uh, immediately run it like in visual studio code so which which is uh, really fun yeah, and actually it's still a very nice uh, editor with um, very friendly tutorial so yeah try it that's it it's all what you need actually gcc make and gdb and some some editor that's it thank you much for watching the next videos we will start uh, assembly and c language and other stuff so for now i'm just preparing environment have a good day bye bye